Chris said, we'll start seventh here today in Montreal. Now, the last time we were on a road course, it was at Mexico City. And, of course, one of the big storylines there was the fact you got tangled up with Marcus Ambrose and uh, we captured that on television. You were extremely angry. And I think you told Gary Cogswell, Marcus's crew chief, I owe you a wrecked race car. Uh, why were you so upset at, on that particular day at that incident? Uh, you know, because he showed me absolutely no respect. You know, he got me loose, and then he just ran me over instead of trying to turn right for the corner. So I, I was just a little disappointed because in the past, I've shown him the respect that I think I deserved, and, you know, he didn't give it to me. But, you know, I'm past that now. You know, you say a lot of things in the heat of the battle. Um, so, you know, he's not on my Christmas card list anymore, not that he ever was, but he's a great race car driver. But he's going to need to learn a lesson because those cup boys aren't going to take any of that next year. But I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about right now doing the best job I can for advanced auto parts and no fair energy and Smithfield Foods, you know, trying to get my number 25 Ford Fusion up to the front. We were good all day in practice. We just had a little, I didn't do such a great job in qualifying. So, but this race is, you know, a race of attrition. You know, it gets crazy at the end. It's really tough on brakes. I feel like I have a really good advantage there. You know, I switched over to performance friction brakes, and I think I'm going to have a distinct advantage with those. So, you know, hopefully we'll be good in race pace. A lot of drivers describe this track as a technical track. What does that mean in your mind? I mean, to me, a technical track is, in Finian Raceway, is really technical. And Watkins Glen is a mix of technical and braking. You know, this track just, it's a lot of blind corners, but it pays big dividends on braking. I mean, it's one of the only tracks that Formula One goes to where they lose their brakes. And these cars are three times the weight, these NASCAR car cars and we're a lot more aggressive and a lot more side-by-side -side racing so you really need to be able to pace your brakes to have them at the end he's terrific Boris said he'll start seventh here today